If you're a billionaire, you can influence a lot of things and a lot of people with your money. And one of those things is politics. Money in politics concerns a lot of people on the left and the right, especially when billionaires' bucks flow through shadowy groups, some of them supposedly charitable organizations. You've probably heard of billionaires George Soros and Charles Koch. You know about Mark Zuckerberg, inventor of Facebook. Now meet Pierre Omidyar, founder of eBay and one of the biggest money men quietly using the charitable sector to fund his pet political causes. Mega donor Omidyar founded eBay in 1995. Since then, his net worth has skyrocketed to an estimated 6.6 billion. As Omidyar's wealth has increased, so has his financial support of some of the most extreme leftist political causes. Some of the things Omidyar has directly or indirectly funded include the so-called Media Democracy Fund, which aims to restrict free speech rights, the Center for Secure and Modern Elections, a pop-up that helped Mark Zuckerberg funnel $350 million into local election offices, effectively privatizing the 2020 election, the 2020 Census Project, likely part of the left's strategy to boost 2020 census data for blue states, and the Trusted Elections Fund, spawned to counter supposed Republican post-election day violence and silence disputes regarding election results after a Biden victory. Omidyar takes advantage of the uniquely American charitable sector that grants tax exemption to nonprofits. While charities were arguably never meant to fund politics outright, Omidyar and other leftist money men have been using the sector to do just that, and their investment has had serious consequences. The Omidyar Nexus is Capital Research Center's name for the roughly half-dozen groups Omidyar funds and leads in the San Francisco Bay Area. These groups include nonprofits that poured out over $1.2 billion between 2004 and 2020, most of it over the past few election cycles. Much of Omidyar's funding has gone to the concept of reimagining capitalism. The goal is to rebalance structural power between workers and the owners of capital. The irony here is that the money used to criticize capitalism is generated by the same capitalist system it professes to hate. Omidyar Network LLC operates alongside Omidyar Network Fund, a private foundation that has paid out roughly three quarters of the Nexus's grants since 2004. The foundation bankrolls many apolitical organizations focused on public health and tech. But it has also funneled close to $8 million to New Venture Fund, the flagship of Arabella Advisors' famous $1.7 billion dark money activist network. Donors choose the Arabella network for one reason alone, to quietly fund politics behind the scenes. Add to that $10 million from Omidyar's Democracy Fund, another foundation with a lobbying arm, and it becomes clear the left has discovered how to funnel billions of tax-exempt dollars into political causes. This helps them elect Democrats and make policy while reaping the financial rewards meant for genuine philanthropy. Charity and activism are not necessarily the same things, but Piero Midiar, like other leftist billionaires, has been quietly helping blur the lines behind the scenes to help one political ideology succeed while damaging what charity was originally designed to do. Help people, not politicians, in need.